Today's prophetic word for you is recognize Jesus as the incarnate word. In other words, you need to see Jesus as the word of God in flesh. You know, this is a different perspective of Jesus. Before you, maybe you would have known Jesus as, as that kid, the baby that was born in Bethlehem. But this, uh, the word of God today is coming to you to have a different understanding of who Jesus is. So we're going to get into it, get deep in the scriptures and analyze the word. It's your boy Mundus. I want to welcome you to the Shine Life family. Every single day we go deep in the word, studying the God's word or build your faith, giving you the prophetic word for every single day. And I use a daily devotional call. It's a book called Prophecy. It's called Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris. I'm going to put the link in the description. So let's get into this prophetic word. Today's prophetic word is Jesus, the incarnate word. You need to see Jesus incarnate. That word incarnate actually means uh, taking human form. Jesus is the word in human form. But let's, 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 get, let's get into it. Uh, so I think scriptures are taken from the book of John chapter 1 and verse 1 to 3 it says in the beginning in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made oh Lord there's so much depth into that oh my goodness but well, let me read the first paragraph of today's pro uh, prophetic word let me just read to you the first paragraph and then we can discuss this so just um um put that here just as no other apostle gave us the revelation of of the church like paul no one gave the church the revelation of the person of jesus the incarnate word like john he tells the story of the word and starts from the beginning. In John chapter 1 verse 10 to 14 says, He was in the world. The world was made by him. And the world knew him not. The word was made fit. Flesh became flesh, dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. Who was in the world that the world didn't know? So let's get, we, we're talking about recognizing jesus as the word you know everybody celebrates christmas and you know we have baby jesus in a major you know born in bethlehem and people celebrate oh jesus was born but that is just a snapshot of who jesus is he says if even the, the revelations that we have from the scriptures apostle paul gives us deep an understanding of the church uh, you, you, you read the different epistles of Paul you know, Corinthians, Ephesians you learn the depths and understanding who we are as Christians but one of the apostles given this deep mystery and revelation of who Christ is, is John if you read the book of Mark, Luke all these other gospels you notice it just begins Jesus was born in the age, it gives us the earthly lineage of Jesus but John John pulls the curtain and goes deeper. So John goes deep and shows us, hey, you're not dealing with a human being. You, 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 you know, people, because people recognize Jesus, the man, the man, the man in, from Galilee. But he says, hold on a second. John comes and says, hold on a second. You don't know who you're talking. You, you, you need to understand who you're dealing with. And that's why he says, in the beginning, I want you to notice that word, that, that word, those three words in the beginning, those are the most powerful words. Those are the most powerful words. Why is that so important? Because it lets you know the word of God was there in the beginning. That, in te that tells you the word of God pre-existed the beginning. Because as he says, in the beginning, when the beginning was, was beginning, the word was there, was the word. And the word was with God. And not only was the word with God, the word was God. So we're talking about the word. So the word, the word, um, right there, the word was in the beginning, right? This is important. Let's establish these facts. My, my handwriting, man. Um, the word was in the beginning. Okay, that's number one. And the word, it says, is equal to God, right? I didn't make that up, right? We're just reading that. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. 
where have you heard such terminology before? I mean, what brings you to mind when you when you when you when you listen to such uh, words in the beginning? I want you to let, 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 let's let's go to the book of the beginnings, right? And you notice something striking. Let's go all the way to the beginning, the book of Genesis. The first book in the Bible. Look how it starts. In the beginning. John tells us in the beginning was the word. Genesis says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Right? God created the heaven and earth. Genesis says God created the heaven and earth. We go back to John. The book of John says in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. He said the word was with God. He says all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Genesis says God made everything. John says the word made everything. John says the word is God. Oh, who is this Jesus, man? Who is Jesus? Oh, God. This is getting deep. So, we always have that picture, that little kid in the major, Jesus, crucified on the cross. People, people recognize the crucified Christ, right? We, everybody knows that. People have images of the cross. People recognize the baby in the major. People know that. Oh, baby Jesus, baby Jesus, Christmas, Christmas. Easter, people know the cross, crucified, crucified on the cross. Jesus crucified, nails. They know him from these two perspectives. But not a lot of people realize in the beginning was the word and the word was with god oh who who so much to talk about let's keep on reading man oh man this is amazing you may answer g okay so let's let's keep on here it says who was in the world and the world did not know him you may say jesus but john gave us this account didn't say jesus he was referring to the word read verse 14 again it says and the word was and the and the word was made flesh the word that was in the beginning was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. John is letting you know the origin of Jesus. While other gospel writings, Matthew and Luke, begin their accounts, began their accounts by tracing the earthly genealogy of Jesus, John's gospel declares his divinity, giving us the actual origin of the man, Christ Jesus, who he really is. That's what I was trying to say. He says, this word that was in the beginning made everything. Genesis says, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Obviously, it's not two different people that did this thing. If John says, in the beginning, there was the word. He says, nothing was made that was not was made. He says, all things were made by him, the word. And without him, he says, without the word. This is, this is important. Oh, man. He says, without the word, without him, nothing was made. Without him was not anything made that was made. He says, if the word was not there, nothing was made. So who, who is this God in Genesis that's creating? He says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. John says, the word made everything. And he says, the word was God, was with God. And the word was God. How did he do it? I'm going to let you know where the word was. Let's keep on reading. It says, and the earth was without form, void and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Did you see the word? This is how the word created everything. God said, God spoke the word. The word made everything. The word was with God. The word is God. <laughs> did, did you see that? You, you can actually see the Trinity in, in that verse, actually. This is not a message, but we'll be looking at the origin of God. It says, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, right? God, right? The Father created heaven and earth. And the earth was without form, with darkness upon the face of it, and the Spirit moved upon. So we, we identify the Spirit. Where is, where is Jesus? We have seen the Father, God. We have seen the Spirit. Where is Jesus? There was no Jesus. Jesus. Jesus did not exist. People think Jesus was in heaven. There was no Jesus. You need to understand it. Jesus was never there. But what you know what was there? In the beginning was the Word. 
Where is the word? He says, and God said, there's the word. Let there be light. And there was light. The spoken word of God made everything. And he says, that word created everything. And that word is God. He says, the word is God. The word made everything. The word is God. There was no Jesus. He was the word. He was not Jesus. He was not a baby running around in heaven. He was not a man. He was the word of God. And he said, that word that made everything without that word, he said, that word became flesh, put on flesh and dwelt amongst us. He says, this word that made everything walked the earth, was in the world. But the world knew him not. He said, the word became flesh. How did he become flesh now? Mm, man, man, man. So the word became flesh. The word becomes flesh. How did this happen? How did this happen? We are, tra we are tracing the origin of Jesus. We, you know, we are tracing who was Jesus. So I want to show you how this word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. So the word becomes flesh. Let's find, let's, let's look into this. So yeah, I'm reading the book of Luke chapter one, famous scripture that everybody reads during Christmas, whatever. He says, and in the sixth month, um, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God onto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto one said, Hail thou art. Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled. This is Mary. She was troubled as he saying, and cast her mind in what manner of salutation this be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. See, now you see, we're trying to establish the word became flesh. How did the word become flesh? There was no Jesus. Jesus did not exist in heaven. He, the, this is now the word becoming flesh. The word becoming flesh is Jesus. He says, you shall call his name Jesus. How is this going to happen? How? Like Mary is asking, huh? Huh? I'm, I'm a virgin. What do you mean? And he said, he shall be great. And he shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be seen? I know no man. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost, ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin, she uh, has conceived a son in her old age and this six month with her who was called barren for with God nothing shall be impossible oh so how does the word become flesh look at what happened verse 38 this is how the word became flesh and Mary said behold the handmaid of the Lord be be it unto me according to thy word and the angel departed from her the minute Mary accepted the word of angel, the, the words of the angel, which was the word of God, which was the word that created the heavens and the earth, that word went in and, and was overshadowed by the spirit. Just like in the beginning, it says, the spirit incubated you know, across the face of the world. And God said, and it was. The same thing, the word is given and, the, and Mary accepts this word and the spirit of God goes over that word and be, the word became flesh. And this is how Jesus came about. Now, Jesus... Who is the word? Jesus is the word that pre-existed creation and by whom all things were created. In John chapter 1 verse 3, his birth was a marvel for the creative word of God was wrapped in swaddling clothes. The word had come to be with and walk amongst men. That's why they called him Emmanuel, God with us. That's in Matthew chapter 1 verse 23. Every step Jesus took was the word of God in motion, the word personified. When he walks the streets of Galilee, Galilee, that was the word of God walking the streets. When he touched the blind, that was the word of God touching them. When he hugged them, the word hugged them. When he laughed with them, the word was laughing. 
When he was dancing, the word was dancing. When he ate, the word ate. Jesus was the word. Jesus is God because he was in before the beginning. People are like, oh yeah, how come we don't know? We can't see Jesus in the Old Testament. We only say, no, Jesus existed. We just established his origin. He was the word that made everything. He is God that became human. So when people talk about Jesus, you don't know, you, you know who we're talking about. We're not talking about, you know, people say the father and then you have the spirit and then you have the little baby son. These are the depictions they put of Jesus. But Jesus is God, the creator of the whole universe. We are not we are not dealing with a with a prophet. We're not we, we're not talking about a, oh, a servant of God. We are talking about deity. Jesus is the mighty God. Oh my God, this is deep. That's not even the message we are coming. But I want you to understand. This is a this is prophetic because if you still see Jesus as a man, you won't get the full picture of who he is. You are limited in your knowledge to just think Jesus, baby Jesus born in Nazareth. No, this is God. God that took on human flesh, the word that became human, the word that made the universe. This is God. I, ooh, 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 ooh. I got so many videos on this. I probably linked to a playlist I did. But I want to take this confession. You know, confessing God's word is important and recognizing who he is. So let us say this together. Where you are, just say this. Blessed Lord Jesus. You are the eternal rock of ages, the only true God, the one by whom all things were created. How great and glorious you are. You are the embodiment of grace and truth. You are the word of life, the hope of the world, the living bread from heaven that gives life to every man in the world. Blessed be your name forevermore. This is how you worship the king because he is the king. That's why Jesus is coming back again. He's the one that's going to judge the whole world. He's the one that's sitting on the throne. This is not a man. This is not just a lesser Israel. This is a lesser God. This is God Almighty. The creator of the universe. The maker of heaven and earth. This is who we believe in. This is who we hope for. And this is the, this is the one that saved the whole world. You can read further studies in the book of John chapter 1 verse 4. NIV John chapter 1 verse 10 to 14. Write the scriptures down. And when you go and, and you do your research, it's going to help you out. It's going to build your faith. And you can read a whole Bible in one year. You know, if you if people always want to know how, how to read a Bible, you just, there's a reading plan right there. You can break it down. You can read in a whole year or in two years. So, and you break it down, maybe do Old Testament and New Testament. Just pick a plan that works for you. Just, I'm going to let that be on the screen. You can screenshot it or ever write the scriptures down. That's going to help you out. So, yeah, I hope you've been blessed by today's prophetic word. Recognize Jesus as the word became flesh. Don't just look at him as a man. This was God. This is God. And your, your understanding of this will change your mindset about who we worship. Who, we, who is this Jesus? This is, this is beyond a human being. This is God Almighty. And this is the same Jesus that died for the whole world. The reason he became flesh was to save humanity. That, that was the whole purpose for him becoming flesh. To save the whole world, to go on our cross on our behalf and pay the price for the whole world. That whoever will believe in him will receive salvation because he's capable of doing that because he's God. And if you're watching this and you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to pray with you so that you can receive salvation for your soul. You don't have to struggle no more. It's not, oh yeah, let me start doing, stop doing the bad thing. No, Jesus did everything. All is required of you is to accept this. It's as simple as that. So I want you to say this prayer after me and you can receive salvation for your soul. So yeah, say this. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. If you said that prayer, congratulations. You're born again. Simple as that. Welcome to the family. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification.
so you don't want to miss a video so when you subscribe make sure you hit all notifications hit the bell so when i release a video it pops up in the screen because every single day is going to be a sp specific prophetic word for you you don't want to miss this so leave me a comment if you said this prayer and also let me know what the spirit of god is ministering to you from today's word this prophetic word let me let us know in the comment section and you can bless others with this thank you once again for being part of it it's been your boy mondays until tomorrow be victorious and prosperous in all you do god bless you mm -hmm.